Heidi with Nest Pretty. I am a curator of a Nest Pretty lifestyle. That means making small choices every day that add up to a beautiful life. You can read all about it in the Nest Pretty Lifestyle Guide. It's on Amazon. So welcome to my wardrobe. On Wednesdays, I love to come in my wardrobe, bring it back to start, and that just means organize it, clean it up, make some hard decisions so that when I go into the weekend, everything is in order and it's one less thing to deal with. Now, ever since I started doing this on a regular weekly basis, it has pushed me to make some huge changes in my closet, my wardrobe, and my mornings. So when you go to get dressed in the morning, you want it to be an enjoyable experience so that you start your day off on the right foot. And everything I've implemented here in my closet has done that. I'm so excited about it. Now, I'm here to tell you that we just found out we have to move. And so I am really excited about the possibility of getting a walk-in closet <laughs> and styling it the way I like. I'm really excited about the possibilities of that. However, the thought of moving has pushed me to read a little book about minimalism. I have a lot of people say to me that I'm a minimalist. And I'm like, mm, I don't think so. I really don't. However, I've never read a book about it, just skimmed articles quickly. And so I read a book and I'm really excited about it. I um, agreed with everything he said. I may be a minimalist at heart and this move may push me further <laughs> down that road. One thing I took away from him, which I totally agree, a thousand percent, is um, if you're looking at an item, whether it be clothing or something, you're gonna pack in a box to move to another location. He said, if it's not an absolute 100% yes, then it's a no. So that is a really good rule that you can use when you're going through your closet. If you're trying to declutter your closet, if you are trying to make it more simple, just ask yourself, is this, let's just, let's just take it all the way. Is this a 1000% yes? <laughs> if not, then it's a no. And so what is, what is a 1000% yes look like? It looks like, yes, I'm putting this on right now. I'm going to rock it. I'm going to love it. And there's no mental chatter. Yeah, but it's a little tight. Yeah, but it pulls. Yeah, but I got to mend it. Yeah, but it's dirty. All that stuff. That's one thing I took away from him. Now, another thing he mentioned, which I have talked about for years, is that every possession you own, uh, you are paying rent for it. You are paying money for it to be in your square footage. And so as I go and pack up this space, I am going to ask myself those two questions. Is it 1000% yes? Also, do I want to continue paying rent for you? Every item is like a roommate <laughs> that you are taking with you and you are paying their rent for them. So if that was a person that always just followed you wherever you went and never paid rent, <laughs> you would probably start to feel a little like, mm. <laughs> either you gotta go or you gotta pay some rent. So that is the mindset I'm going to go into packing with. Do I wanna continue to pay for your rent? Is it a 1000% yes? <laughs> then you go in the box. If there is any question in my mind, then it's a no. <laughs> now, okay, one more thing I will share that he mentioned, which I have done in the past, but I think I will implement even more aggressively, is that if you have an item that is, um, you don't, maybe it is sentimental in a tiny, tiny way, and you've been carrying it around with you and you're like, it doesn't serve a purpose. It's not beautiful. I don't love it, but it's sentimental. He said, take a picture of it and then get rid of it. 
So I've done that twice so far. And I'm just gonna make a folder of, what, are, what am I gonna call it? I gotta think of something cutesy to call it. <laughs> so all of those things that I've been carrying around with me that I brought with me to Florida, it stops here. I'm so sorry. You're gonna have to go. I'll take a picture of you and then you will go. <laughs> so this is Heidi with Nest Pretty. Um, at this point, knowing that I have to pack up makes me so thankful that my closet is simplified, that it's easy, that I have every season separated into a, um, a canvas bag and I have a capsule in each of those bags and I can just take the capsule and go. So even if I have to live in a, in a van down by the river for a little bit, I have my capsule wardrobe. It's all set. It's ready to go. <laughs> Just kidding about the van <laughs> and the river. <laughs> okay. So I think that's all I have. Um, yeah. So, okay. One more thing. I'll share one more thing. Uh, I have been talking a lot about self care this month and self love. So there is a challenge link is in the bio. Uh, if you need to um, hone your skills of taking really good care of yourself, check that challenge out. Also, um, I'm just going to say that having my wardrobe simplified, this has been a process. It's taken me quite a while to get to this point. However, I'm so grateful because um, when stressful situations come up, Getting dressed is one less thing. And when stressful situations come up, like having to move suddenly, um, it's just one less stress. So I highly, highly, highly recommend that you continue on your own journey of simplifying your wardrobe, organizing your closet, so that you're prepared. So that mentally, it's one less thing to worry about as things come up in life. I hope you have a fantastic day and we'll talk soon. Bye.